everywhere you go in Brazil, they're all rooting for Lula. And me personally, I would say yes, I'm rooting for Lula too. He's more for the working class people. And everything that he's did is actually really good. And uh, this is the Airbnb that I am right now. If you are all wondering, it's actually pretty nice. Um, I think I might have overpacked. That's kind of what some people say I overpacked. I had like three suitcases here, but you know, not too much. I just got, I'm gonna be here for three months. So I had to do all that, but let's go ahead and look outside though. So uh, I'm inside of Republica, by the way, if anyone's wondering. A lot of people have recommended not to be out in Pope Republica. I guess because there's more crime out here. But uh, it actually looks fairly nice. You know, it is uh, the historic district, so some things may look a little ran down. But um, let's kind of talk about why, you know, people really want Lula to win. So let's talk about this. First of all, the one thing that I would say is that everything he's done for the people, it's a lot that he's done. So he made it easier for people to get scholarships inside of uh, private colleges. He made it easier for people to get scholarships overall. He made it easier for people to go to school. He made it easier for people to get housing. He made housing cheaper. He he did a lot for the people, you know. It's, it's the type of thing that you wanna see inside of America. And you know, you're, they say that he's more of a leftist. You know, that's what they're saying. He's more to the left and then the other candidate is more to the right. I would say overall though, uh, he, he helped out Brazil's economy. Look at his whole term. If you look at it, Brazil's economy was booming inside of his term. And uh, if you look all over the internet, they said the other guy was just for the right. It would be bad for the environment, but uh, and for science and a bunch of other stuff. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna get in the middle of that because you know I'm not Brazilian, so I can't really speak on it. But. What I will say is a lot of people are rooting for him. There's tens of thousands of people. I wouldn't be surprised if there was 100,000 people in the street rooting for Lula. Like everywhere you go, people are, he even has his own theme song. People are singing his theme song. Everywhere you go, he has his own theme song. Like the people that are rooting for him really benefited during his presidency. And it really shows because they really have a lot of love for him. So that's what was going on out inside the whole march that they had it was inside of paulista paulista app but yeah i'm definitely gonna make some more videos we're gonna do a lot more i'm gonna show around a lot more stuff you know i'm just kind of getting used to the landscape right now kind of seeing how like where to film where not to film i am in republica so they say don't don't do nothing like that you wouldn't do like normally out here so yeah i'm just gonna be careful and stuff like that they say don't walk around at night i walked around at night just to see how i was yeah, I definitely see in Republica there are some sketchy people out there, you know, uh, quite a few uh, people that uh, were sketchy, so were trying to, you know, come to, come to me and talk to me, you know, and whenever something like that happens, you don't, don't even speak a word, because then the second they see that you're English and you're a gringo or foreigner, that's when they're going to start bothering you, and I did not speak a word when I seen those type of people, you know, I already know, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, I know exactly, like, who who's really about it, who's not. And I can see there, there are some people out here that are really, they'll really get down. And I, I grew up mainly inside Florida, but still, you know, Florida, everyone has guns and stuff like that. So, but anyways, like it, it was a little, a little bit in between mix. And uh, I walked down streets that no one was in at night. You know, I had all my stuff on me. I seen uh, a lot of people staring at me, but I really did not feel, I'm not gonna say I didn't feel threatened but I have street smarts. I was actually looking around every time, everywhere I walked, to the point where I, I would walk by someone and I turn around and look at them and see them turning around looking at me and just seeing if they knew that I had street smarts because that's how they pick their targets. That's how they pick who they're gonna rob. Like if they're walking and they walk by, you don't stare at them, you're not turning around and looking at them, then they're they're gonna know you're, you're an easy target. So you always wanna be aware of everywhere you're going in Brazil, what exactly you're doing out here. And um, people may say, you look scared because you know, you're like looking all around, watching your back. But no, that's that's called having street smarts. Better to look scared than not to be scared. And when I walked around at night, I was not scared whatsoever. There were definitely situations where people could have, you know, tried to take advantage of me, but I was aware of every single person, where they were, what they were doing, how far they were, how fast they could quite possibly run by what they're wearing. And I was wearing trainers and everything. I, I can run fast, like you're not gonna catch me. Maybe if they had like a gun and you already know. But yeah, still, I didn't really feel too threatened. And also, uh, I'll make a lot of more videos. I do see though, Paulista is definitely the route to go. If you're gonna come here, Paulista Ave, that's definitely where you wanna go. 
Um, I'm gonna. I, I like Republica. I don't think it's a bad area at all whatsoever. I mean, it is bad. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not bad, but there there is a lot of bad stuff here. <laughs> but I would say if this is your first time, you don't know Portuguese. Nobody here speaks English. I found one person that spoke English, and that one person was in a, in a club. So, and they were they're like a manager, and they spoke English. So. You're not going to really find anyone that speak, speaks English here inside of uh, Republica. Maybe inside Paulista you will. But it will be uh, definitely hard, especially hard inside of Republica to find an English speaker. Now, another thing that I do want to tell you all is you always, like whenever you're walking at night, you don't want to walk around with your camera, obviously, but you do want to take an Uber around at night. I took an Uber to somewhere and then I walked back from there just to kind of uh, get a feel of this area in Republica to know what I should and shouldn't do. And yeah, I'm definitely probably gonna, you know, inside of this area of Republica, I'm, I'm gonna be taking Ubers at night from now on. And uh, nothing happened to me, thankfully, but I wasn't worried. I <laughs> It probably sounds like I'm being cocky, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't fear anyone. I don't fear anything. Anything can happen. I'm not saying that it can't happen to me, but I, I just have no fear of anyone as well. It, it's just, it's just how I was raised, it's just how I am. And uh, yeah, people can look at you and tell if you're an easy target. That's that's the main takeaway. And just don't be an easy target, always be aware. And when I first got here, you know, my taxi driver, he looked at this guy, he had tattoos all over his neck and his face. And he's like, he's like, careful, dangerous. Like those are the only words he really knew. He said, careful, dangerous. A while looking at the dude, I looked at him. And it was the same guy that I walked by at night in a group of people that were trying to call me over to him. And I looked at him, I shook my head and put my thumbs up and I kept walking. And yeah, that's about it. If I would have walked over to him in a gringo not speaking Portuguese, they probably would have jumped me, robbed me, all that stuff. But it's like, you gotta be smart. You, you just don't walk to groups of people that are calling you over at night, especially if they don't look like they're up to any good. He had women with him. I could tell they were, uh, they were working women. And I, yeah, you just, you just have to be cognizant of your surroundings here. But yeah, I'm definitely going to make a lot more videos. I'm going to open up consultations if you all want consultations. And like I said, Paulista Ave. If you want to go somewhere, Paulista Ave is nice. But Republica, it's, it's a decent place, you know. Looks a little bit ran down in some parts. But that's because this is the historic district. And I actually like that aspect. It really gives you, it gives you the authentic Brazil whenever you come to somewhere like here. Uh, Republica. Because, you know, this is their historic district. So, I would say definitely check it out it's definitely a good choice for you but the best choice to stay is paulista and never walk around republic at night that's what people tell me and yeah <laughs> there's like no english speakers here either but yeah this is all i got for y'all today i'm gonna open up consultations email me at marcellus the one at gmail.com that's m-a-r-s-e-l-l-i-s-t-h-e-o-n-e -L -L -E at gmail.com marcellus the one at gmail.com I'll do some constellations one on one there. We'll talk about pricing and all that. What's going on, everyone? It is Marcellus, and this is Rascal, or as they would say in Brazil, Rascal, or something around there. But yeah, I guess I just have a bowl of, I don't know what to call it. But yeah, it's chicken, um, plantains, mushrooms, uh, broccoli, quinoa, papaya, and watermelon juice. So that is pretty much what I got here today. And I'll show you all how much it costs after I eat it. But yeah, I already had some. As you can see, very nice, very nice restaurant here. But I have a lot more coming for you all. So I'll definitely try all the different restaurants around here. And you can see it's pretty nice i think it's around 75 reals plus the juice so 15 to 20 dollars us somewhere around there it's all good but definitely stick around i'll have a lot more view off like and subscribe if you like this i'm going to be making a lot of these videos i'm also going to be going to rio de janeiro i know that's what most people want to see so i'm gonna go to rio de janeiro i'm gonna get the whole landscape over there i'll be here for three months and then possibly even longer if i want to extend it or i'll go to thailand or something but Right now, this is where I'm at, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos here. But anyways, everywhere you go out here, you're just gonna hear Lula Lula. They're gonna be singing his theme song, and you're gonna hear that. You heard that earlier in the video, so yeah, it's definitely pretty interesting. I'm really liking Brazil, but learn 
Portuguese. Learn Portuguese. Almost nobody speaks English. You need some Portuguese. But anyways, this is all I got. Hit the like button, subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with another video.